Hello Leo, welcome. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at your energies at the moment and um, just to help you navigate your way through this time and what it is that you need to do to make it easier for you. Okay, um, so we're going to use the cosmic reading cards, which I have already pulled some of them because it can take a while to shuffle and get them out just to save time. I always have so much to say and also the Osho Zen Tarot which we'll clarify with as we go so Leo welcome I'm Juanita and let's get into it so first of all we have Limitless so what this is about Leo is really looking at the ways that you limit yourself Okay, so that you can become limitless, right? And, and for you, it's about um, looking at your beliefs, looking at your ways of thinking. Um, are you taking on other people's thoughts and beliefs as your own? Okay, and are those stopping you in propelling forward in your life? Okay, um, the other thing is really looking at um, how it is that you're putting up walls, okay, which could be actually inhibiting you, okay, and the other thing is um, seeing how other people's beliefs cause you to conform, okay, because I feel like for you, Leo, it's it's as though there's something inside of you that wants to break free, and um, and it's just it's it's been held back, and it's it's almost like this the essence of who you truly are, right? Is is being squashed, I suppose, would be the best way to put it. That's how it feels, anyhow. Um, so let's have a look here if there's anything further. Oh, yeah, there we go. So we've got comparison. So comparing yourself to other people 100% because when you look at it here, they're both trees, right? And uh, they are completely different, okay? And I feel like for you, you tend to put yourself down for maybe not being... You know, in your mind, you think someone else is more advanced than yourself, but you don't really give yourself the credit to say that, actually, I also know a whole heap of stuff, or I can do a whole heap of stuff. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly the same as the next person, because what would happen, Leo, is that you would go and do your thing, and someone else would look at it and go, holy heck, I wish I knew how to do that or I wish I had that confidence or I wish I had that um, ability, right? So it really is a matter of, of, of um, stopping this internal battle that is going on inside of you, okay? The other thing I want to say with that is that there could be um, some people around you who could be behaving in a kind of a petty way and... Um, having you, it's almost as though they would prefer to have you um, as they would like you to be. Uh, so if you want to expand and grow, it may not suit them, okay? And so just be aware of that. Do not allow that to hold you back. Don't let other people's doubts um encroach upon your dreams all right uh, we also have completion here really interesting um, that that has come up and um, this is about really ending something that is no longer working for you it's time to to um, change your route I suppose in a sense yeah Okay, so the next one here we have is a believe. So, um, obviously, you know, I feel like I'm stating the obvious here, but believing in yourself, right? But also, it, it, a bit like I said before with the Limitless card, is that it's like there's people around you that you see them um, living this life, and it's like, oh my gosh, you know, 
I'd just be so lucky to have that or even a portion of that that you know you there's kind of this belief in you that you could never achieve that but in actual fact you can and it's the belief that you can't achieve it that is holding you back yeah um and the other thing I want to say is that there's the sense of um like letting go of the being perfect, that everything has to be perfect. Um, because I feel like for you, there's, um, if it's not perfect, that maybe there's a sense of shame surrounding that for some reason, or or maybe you fear that people will laugh at you and point and, and be like, oh my God, look at them, they're trying that, they never could have done it, even if they thought they could have. You know, what are they doing? type of thing and if that's not happening with people around you that's definitely happening within okay um and the thing is leo that it's really important for you to try okay so what if it doesn't work who cares like i know you care um i don't mean to minimize that for you but it really is learning to let go of that fear okay that fear of being imperfect Okay, um, because if, you know, here's an example that's popping into my mind. The, um, you know those sticky notes that you get? Those um, were actually created by a, I think it was a chemist, who he was trying to actually get notes that would permanently stick and, um, and it wouldn't work. And he could have just thrown that away and gone, I failed at that, didn't work. But in fact, what he did was he turned it into something successful. His failure actually became his success. And we ended up with the sticky notes that we can stick on and pull off, right? So it's really important for you to start cutting yourself some slack there, okay? So here we have maturity, allowing things to grow as they need to grow, okay? Really try and also look at it from a different perspective okay and try and get a bit more positive in your mind in your thinking um because there's just so oh just getting so much self-doubt from you and it's it's just not serving you um which is a real shame because i actually feel like there's it's like there's something inside of you like a hidden gem that needs to come out and be, and, and um, being brought to light so it can shine upon the world sort of thing. And um, that might sound really cringy to you, but it's almost like that's what you need to start, um, that, you know, that perspective is what you need to start coming from, okay? Because nothing else is really working and you do not want to hold yourself back. And then at the end of your life, far too many cards there, like quarter of the deck, um, at the end of your life, go, oh, I wish I had given that go, and I wish I had tried that. Yeah, because... <sighs> because that is not going to be of any use to you by then. Okay, we have control. <laughs> Trying to control everything around you, having everything in order this is this perfection thing again I feel um it's almost like you're kind of going well I'll do it when this I've got this down packed and 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 when I've mastered this and and when this is looking a lot better no you have to let that go and just start just start because you know what you'll never be satisfied and you'll never actually get it going so it is time to start now Okay, because this is your sacred journey. Okay, this is what you are meant to do. This is your mission. Okay, because there is this brewing inside of you and you've avoided it for far too long now. And it is time to start. Um, I want to say here with this sacred journey too, is there's this, um, this fear of um, the darkness. Okay, there's, there's something, look, here's what I want to say about this. We all have a, a, a shadow self, okay? We all have darkness, okay? Look at the yin and yang symbol. It wouldn't be a symbol without the dark part. And it balances out evenly, which makes it the symbol that it is, okay? So 
if we look at that, we all have that dark part in our self called the shadow self. Okay, it's everyone has it. Um, we just don't realize it because not no one really wants to show the world that. But for you, Leo, I want to say embrace that part of yourself. Okay, all part of loving ourselves is embracing those things that we don't necessarily like about ourselves. We can't just love the good parts and not the rest of ourselves. Yeah. So taking the leap of faith and doing it anyway, regardless, it's it's. So part of me wonders if what you're afraid that if you put yourself out there that you're afraid people will see the shadow part of yourself the dark parts of yourself and um, it really is a case of having to just take the leap of faith okay because the school the fool starts his journey off with nothing he hasn't even got a knapsack in this one okay he has faith yeah and he knows that when he steps off look at him he's just walking without a care, care off the side of the um cliff but he knows he's going to be okay he knows he's got this okay and i feel like this is something that it's almost like i want to come and just not push you off the cliff but you know push you to do this it's like you need that um that real push and the thing is that if this is your um if this is your calling then you're going to get that push and you want to do it before the push comes and it's super uncomfortable because it's going to be uncomfortable anyway okay so you may as well just do it and embrace it and allow yourself to be you right look at this rebirth here right you've got the full here which is right at the, the beginning of the journey and you've got this rebirth here which is in the 10 okay so this is this is the <sighs> i'm trying to get everything out at once this is really a, like i was saying allowing your authentic self to come through because you look at this lion which is so appropriate you being a leo okay this lion here mm, mm, standing on top of the camel okay so this um camel here is walking along this is how i'm seeing it okay walking along placidly but the inside has this roaring lion right which is that shadow self of yourself that you don't want anyone to see okay but the thing is that once that that self has been seen by you and embraced by you that causes the music within you to be played and the music within you is your true calling okay so this is about allowing yourself to do what it is that you are here to do okay integrity this again is about this this fear of your shadow and it keeps coming up because it has to be addressed because one card is not going to be enough for you leo you need more <laughs> um but this is also about breaking patterns as well okay getting rid of the ego that is sitting there judging you who do you think you are you think you can do that you're just trying to be like so-and-so down the road who did that. <clears throat> you're, just, you're just trying to be like them, right? Um, and it's breaking those sorts of patterns that are holding you back. Being gentle and soft with that, those shadow parts, okay? And, um, and, and really looking at this, this talk that you do to yourself that doesn't allow you to expand because... To be honest with you, I just feel like you're going around and around in a circle and it actually feels like you're being suffocated by your own, I heard the word there and then it went again, by your own self-doubt. That wasn't the word, but that came through instead. So this is super important for you, Leo, to make sure... <clears throat> That you are doing the work that you need to do internally in order for you 
to start succeeding, okay? Because you've got it in you. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Everyone does, yeah? And, and it's a good chance for you to set an example for those around you as to how to do it, whether they believe in you or not. Look at this, the lovers, okay? And I really feel like this is about you loving both parts of yourself, the good and the bad, yeah? Um, this could very well be Leo about starting a new relationship and maybe another relationship didn't go so good or maybe you weren't, um, you know, d or don't feel that you were a good partner, um, but it is about learning to do things differently. This could be about a, a any kind of relationship. It could be about a business, having a bit of business partnership, coming into partnership. Um, it's, you know, about you. Whoa, did you see that? See, I love this. Look at how that shot out. Intensity. Doing whatever you want to do with intensity. Going for it. Just going for it. Okay? Um, it could be that something is happening and you feel like it's happening too fast. Okay? And that creates fear for you. It really is embracing this fear and doing it anyway, yeah? Um... Stepping out of this, all these reasons not to do it and looking at the reasons to do it, okay? Worlds within worlds. Look within Leo, okay? Um, you know, getting away from everyone else's discerning opinions, right? Everyone else who um, is saying you can't do that, why would you do that for? Um, or, you know, having their own doubts. But also, um, like really knowing that you have this inner knowing, okay? Because I feel like this is you on the outside here and everything's kind of feels a bit scattered, I suppose. And it, and just coming within and really going into your heart space and allowing your inner knowing, your, um, you know, this, this truth of who you are to come out and lead the way. Because at the moment you're so much in your head here and it's not helping you. It's your heart that needs to lead. Okay, so let's have a look at worlds within worlds for Leo. Anything else about that? And with this intensity card here, maybe you feel a bit like it is too intense. Look at this. Guilt. You know, and you, um, you know, you feel like it's too intense and that is making you, you know, it could very well be that something else happened in the past and that was intense as well and you feel like you are not seeing things clearly because of the intensity. Um, but I want you to start trusting that intensity because it feels like it's different than what it may have been in the past. Or it could be it's the first time you've felt the intensity and it's scary for you. Guilt. This is about you with these thoughts, right? Um, it could have been that something happened in the past that you obviously feel guilty about, okay? But it could also very well be um, that you have um, guilt for actually moving forward. It may be that you may want to you know, especially if we're talking about a rebirth and a new beginning, right? This could very well, you could feel guilty about doing that. You could feel selfish, okay? We also have existence here, which I really love because these are two opposing energies and the existence is what you need to tap into, okay? Because you are part of the universe and the universe is part of you, okay? There is actually no different difference other than what we can visibly see okay so for you Leo this is very important for you to really come within and start to tap in 
to the truth of who you are. Okay, we have mirrored souls here. Now, um, here's the thing. First of all, I want to address self-love and self-worth here. Okay, so if you've been struggling with that, you really need to do some work. I love how these hearts are joining, and it is reminding me of this lover's card. For some of you, this may very well be about a new relationship, okay, and the fear of that. These feelings could be very intense, and um, it's a bit scary for you. Um, because there's the divine masculine and feminine here, and there is in here as well. And I also see it here as well, now that we're talking about it, right? Um, and this control card is jumping out at me, and it's like, again, everything has to be a certain way, and we can't do it like that, because it's not like this. You have to let that go, okay? Um, but also, with this mirrored souls card here, it's um, also, there are people around us like who say they, they might irritate us, right? They might, we might get really annoyed with them and they're just a pain in the behind, right? And um, what, what happens is they're actually bringing up these emotions for you to feel, okay? Because these emotions don't get triggered unless they're there to be triggered. So when we're talking about the shadow or this darkness within ourselves, those are the parts of us that um, that need to be addressed and need to be worked on. And it could very well be, Leo, that you had a relationship where you were triggered in a negative way. And it might be that you reacted and that's what you fear, or that you'll do that again. But I can tell you what, if you do the work, and uh, bring these emotions up to be seen and heard by yourself, you know, it really is a matter of doing that, to sit with those uncomfortable, horrible, awful emotions and give them a voice. What is it that they want to say? You know, imagine that it's like someone standing in front of you. If, for example, it's anger, what does this anger look like? What does it want to say? Is it big? Is it small? Is it what's the texture? What's the color? And what does it want to say? It just actually really wants to be seen and heard. So it's up to you to look at it and it's up to you to hear it. And I tell you what, it helps so much. Okay, so let's have a look at mirrored souls here. Success. You will have success if you apply that, okay? You will have success if you allow yourself to look at these triggers, allow yourself to see what it is that is annoying you in other people and, and what's happening inside of you with that. What, what emotions is that creating? Do you even have that trait and you don't like it within yourself and that's why it's annoying you, right? Um, so looking at all these things so that you can start to... Um, calm those down within you okay so anything else about mirrored souls for leo and also with this leo is that i feel like there may have been some work that you have done and you are making progress in that regard so to celebrate that you know just remember there's still work to do though but um but make sure you do celebrate those successes okay anything else about mirrored souls for leo Traveling. Traveling along your own path. Okay. Um, I want to say about this that whatever it is that you is your calling and what you want to do, you've been you have been working really hard at it actually. And um, you know, even if that's just creating in your mind. Okay, and this is really about paving a way for yourself, putting your own mark on things. Okay, so when you're looking at other people and how they're doing stuff, yeah, it's good. You can get advice from people and, and how they do it, but just make sure that you make it your own. Okay, um, we have communication. Uh, this is very important for you, Leo, because I do feel like you internalize quite a bit. Um and so this is really about learning the art of communication, okay? Um, 
and realizing that there's lots of ways to communicate, okay, not just through talking, there's writing, but also one thing I want to make clear here is that vibration also communicates. So even if you're not speaking and someone says, oh, are you annoyed with me? And you're like, no, no, they, they can feel it from you. So be aware of that. Okay, um, and if you need to work through that in silence and don't want anyone to bother you with that, just say, I've got some things going on with me that I don't want to share, um, so please let me work on that, you know, so that they're aware that you're cool, um, you know, you both are fine with each other, but you've just got a bit of work to do, and whether you choose to communicate with that with them later or not, it's up to you. So that's really important. Um, and what else was I going to say about this? Um, not feeling heard. Not feeling heard at all. Um, and I feel like sometimes you close off and just start that internalizing again. And it actually ends up being a bit of a, a mind game. Looking at mind games, how are you playing them? How is that impacting you with your relationships with other people, right? Maybe that's something you did in the past and you don't haven't quite learned a new way of dealing with things. So this is your chance to find a new way to deal with things, yeah? Um, it could be, Leo, that you're uncomfortable with communicating verbally and that's not you, but it may be necessary, okay? Here, look at this. Putting on a mask and pretending to be something you're not, okay, um, actually looking at the things that you've, you've um, left in the past, but they haven't actually been dealt with, mm. communication is one of them, too many, too many cards there, yeah, that's really interesting. Giving yourself a voice as well. Past lives. Okay, there's the past thing again, right? Um, actually getting the balance between two aspects of yourself. Okay, and this could be this inner and outer world again. Okay, realizing that, um, you know, what whatever is going on on the outside was I talking about that? Yeah. I know it's in my head. Oh, with the worlds within worlds. Things on the outside reflecting what is going on on the inside. And it's the same with the mirrored souls as well, right? Things happening. You know, people are reflecting what is happening for you on the inside and bringing it to your attention. Um, surrender. Let go. Let go of resistance and accept what is yeah, I feel like that's really hard for you. And it's one thing to say let go, oh, just let it go, you know, whatever, you know, but it's it's another thing to actually, oh, that popped up, Thunderbolt. Um, but I felt like it wasn't quite, but I just thought I'd show you. Um, you know, it can that's the thunderbolt is that you know, unexpected like lightning has just struck your world. You know, so, um, but yeah, going into, okay, even though we've just talked about communication, please do not misinterpret what this is saying here, okay, because I feel like these two are very, very much on par with one another to go into the silence, calm your mind, okay, and let all these emotions calm down and become serene, okay, go into your heart, um, and I feel like what's going to happen is this is going to help you with this new vision of what it is that you want to achieve, okay, and start to really see how you can achieve it, because at the moment it's all going around in your head, and you're not actually able to see it clearly, um, because there's just too much going on, so, you know, and that could also be from outside forces as well, okay, so just be aware of that, and right at the end here we have new chapter and I love this for you this is about inner change and this is kind of what has been addressed throughout this whole time inner change yeah not letting your fears stop you yeah um and just just 
look, knowing that if things are difficult for you right now, honouring that, allowing that to be, not resisting that. Let them be difficult. Let challenges be challenging. They're there to help us grow. Okay, so know that, um, that that's what they're there for. And honestly, sometimes you just have to breathe and release it. Just breathe and release. You know, there's not much more you can do, especially if there's a thunderbolt moment involved. You just have to breathe through it. Um, yeah, new chapter. Anything else for new chapter for Leo? Uh, denial to me this is what denial is about also don't be lazy Leo do the work okay but it's about really being honest with yourself and knowing that um, what needs to be done needs to be done and not brushing it under the carpet and going there that was their fault not mine be honest with yourself you know take accountability and that's that's how you will actually change and do things that you need to do so that you can move forward in your life. Okay. Oh, too many cards there. Where's that one gone? Oh, let me just see. One more shuffle, and if nothing comes up, we'll end it there. Let's have a look. Nope, that's it for you, Leo. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. So please do what you need to do because I really feel like once you do, you'll be able to break out of all these old patterns. Okay, Leo, take care of yourselves. See you. Bye-bye.